including affordable housing. In Kaitani files the following story. After presiding over the pass out parades for three consecutive days, President William Ruto is set to kickstart his tour of the Nyanza region tomorrow, where he is expected to launch various development projects. It will be just the second time in three months that President Ruto will be touring the region, with the local leaders being a no-show last time out. Kwenda mbaka karungu, hiyo barabara pia nitaifuatilia, njyo tuweze wakikisha kwamba inakamilika. Sindio? Nakumbuka pia wakati nilikuja rangwe, tuko na barabara ya kutoka rangwe kwenda nyaburu. Pile pile nasikia imekwama kidogo, nitaishugulikia. If online sentiments are anything to go by, local leaders led by Huma Bay Town MP Peter Kaluma have vowed to accompany the head of state, listing his 10-point demands, including infrastructure funding and land extension for the Tomboy University, further urging the government to fast track the Kabunde airstrip. According to State House spokesperson Hussein Mohamed, the president is set to launch development projects in the region, top among them infrastructural projects. The president will launch several projects that directly impact on the lives of the people, in line with the government's bottom-up economic agenda uh, that places premium, of course, on economic transformation, especially for those uh, at the bottom of the economic pyramid. You will recall that the President was here in October 2022 and made several pledges. Tomorrow, uh, he'll be returning to fulfill some of those pledges. Key among them uh, is the launch of the first phase of the 5,000 affordable housing program for Homer Bay County. The project is expected to not only alleviate the housing deficit uh, in the county, and by housing here we're talking about decent and affordable housing, but also significantly boost the local uh, economy. The project will ultimately cover several towns in the county, including Oyugis, Kendu Bay, uh, and Bita. The tour has landed ICT Cabinet Secretary Eli Dowalo in trouble, with netizens who called him out for spending taxpayers' money in erecting handful of billboards, welcoming the president to the region. As the residents wait for the head of state, the question remains, will local leaders accompany the president in his two-day visit, or will they share away from it? Yen Kaitani, Luke TV. Thank you, Ian Kaitani.